I'm on a like gist to 2,100 people on Instagram, 2,254, 2,300. Apropos <laughs> gist masters, see us on Agada. Mm. How are you doing? Sama baby, well done. Oh. Hey, uh -huh. how do I make? Okay. So, how are you all doing? How are we doing today? Mm. We they talk everybody matter. The matter don't reach me, and we must talk the matter. Ada blessing. How you day? Someone say, someone say, you collect money before calling people out for scam. I collect money from everybody coming to my platform. It is not for people calling out for scam. Let me tell you my side of the story. You see, for this life, eh? No, they help people. Hey! This woman disturbed me for my DM. Called me, called me, Daddy Freeze, Daddy Freeze. I need, I will pay. I want to talk to you. I will pay. Now I tell them, let's have the conversation. I say, I charge 250K for consultation. I told her on the phone, which is what I do to talk to anybody on the phone. Let me break it down to you. I'm 26 years in the industry. If I started 26 years ago banking, today at least I go, day, I go be branch manager of one small branch for Shomolu. No be so. Is it easy to get the branch manager, manager of a bank without consultation? So, in order to wear every day, as I follow you talk today, somebody don't send me message say in one drink sniper. I read the message. Say if I not dash our money, in, he show me the picture. Make I show you the chart. He show me the picture of the sniper. How many do I want to attend to? How many can I help? Mo, I won't make you judge this matter. All of una make una judge the matter. Someone say, are you supposed to collect the money? When you get cancer, you go to hospital, doctor know they collect money. Say you get cancer, you won't buy. Listen to me, doctor know they collect money. The taxi will carry you go to the hospital, you know go collect money. On your way to the hospital, you stop over at a petrol station. Ah, my mama get cancer. Give us free petrol. They go answer you. You want to pay your doctor. You want to pay your lawyer. You want to even pay the police or whoever else it is that you are dealing with. But you want to come to my platform for free. Of course, there are many instances where I don't charge people. Over this same COS matter, there was a woman that your popular pastor, where they do prayers for owner. Young pastor, where they do prayer. In pastor for abroad, it was on this live. Sama baby, Ada blessing. You remember that story? That girl, the lady came, they collected 96 or 125,000 pounds. Ask her if I collected one naira from her to bring her on my platform. I brought her on my platform for free. But my question is, are you going to be the one to choose the charity I want to do for me? Lawyers, they do pro bono. And they do plenty pro bono. And they do plenty pro bono. But nobody you go tell me, say, I must do your own pro bono. That young man, lucky car guy, the lucky car guy, I post his stuff for free. Two days ago, he called me, sent me a message. Uh, okay, I just raptured the deadlines. Give me one minute. Two days, somebody said, Go straight to the point, mm, collect rapture. I go lock the comments. I go lock the comments. If you now decide, say today you don't want to have sense, I will lock the comments. Can I continue? Uh -huh. So, just one second, darling. Let me just... Uh -huh. So, 
Here's the issue. Judge the matter. A woman comes up to meet me. Daddy Freeze, I need to talk to you. Daddy Freeze, I need to talk to you. Daddy Freeze, I need to talk to you. And the... Sorry, I want to lock my comments. Mm -hmm. And the woman comes and says, Ah, Daddy Freeze, I, need... I thought you wanted me to consult for her. I now gave her my rate for consultation. If you want to talk to me, I charge you 250k to talk. Don't be angry. There are other people who are free and there are other people who are available. Remember, I don't make money from the church. I don't make one naira from the church. So Monday to Friday, I'm supposed to come and attend to people's needs. And at the end of the day, the same people will say that the freeze you are collecting from the church. The only reason why I cannot collect from the church, the only reason why I don't collect from the church is because I run my own personal business. My conversations are not for free. Now, if you tell me you want to call somebody out, I can decide to explore the validity of your case. Is your case valid? Is your case not valid? Can you be sued? Do you have facts? Then I decide that, okay, I'm going to do a pro bono for you, or I just wash my hands off the case. Remember, I don't call people out to... That the freeze brand is not a call people out brand. Is it that we are preaching or we are gisting? I don't call people out. Once in a while, people come to my platform. Like yesterday, Abdul Shali was on my platform talking about Omashola owing her $27,000. I don't do that on a regular. Once in a while, somebody finds themselves on my platform. We are talking about something else and a conversation ensues. I want you to listen to this clearly. The woman got in touch with me, said, Daddy Freeze, I want to talk to you. I said, ah, consultation is 250,000 naira. Oh. The woman said, please, let me pay 150. I never give discount ever. I don't know what to do me that day. I said, okay, pay 150 for consultation. The woman called me and spoke for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes, she said, when are we going to go live? I said, ah, live is a separate thing. If you want to go on my live, my fee is 1.5 million. For anybody that comes to my live, that is how much I charge. And I don't give discounts. She said, no, 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 that I've already collected. But I said, okay, since me and you have started conversing, the money I collected for her was for consultation or not for the live. Oh, the live was free. The only thing that this woman wanted was for me to go live and talk about her matter as a topic. I said, I cannot do that. I can only do that for somebody that has paid me my full fee to come to my live. You want me to host a topic about you? You will pay for the life. However, since I'm going to go live today, come and talk about your problem. Let us share it. By the time the woman shared her story that day, you get as the story sound. You will all, I, I want to remember which, because you know we go live every day. So if you heard that story, the story was, even the people on the live, they were blaming her that day. That's why she was so angry. Because you get the way the story takes sound for ear. Everybody come to one say, ah, I will on the comment section. Don't worry. I will on the comment section. Una, I, I, I want to remember the people that were there that day. By the time the woman said the story, the story was funny. I don't know, say, the woman talk finish. She can't carry the matter. Go meet VDM. Let me tell you guys something. Eh? I pride myself. VDM said he does it for free. Very good. Me, I don't do it for free. I have a family to feed. I left my radio career to focus on talking, the same talk I talk on the radio. I talk this talk for my employees for 26 years. What did they give me for it? They paid me salary for it. So now I'm earning my own salary. People, they vex. Don't be angry. I still do chat. I... I was telling you about that lucky car guy. He reached out to me the other. I said I was going to be promoting him for free for one year, just to encourage his brand. Yesterday he called me. He said, "Daddy Freeze, I want to sell my 
uh, MiFi, this uh, Wi-Fi, mini MiFi. He said that if it's, I need money to travel, I don't have money to travel, I want to sell my Wi-Fi, my MiFi, please buy it for 30K. I look the guy, I say, why should I buy your MiFi from you for 30K? Send me your account. I sent him the 30K, you can ask him. The, the woman, I bring people up regularly, free of charge. But I'm the one that is going to choose what's going to be free. Because you have a big problem, does not mean a lawyer is going to support you for free. A lawyer can choose. I say, okay, I'm going to give you a pro bono. Listen, you lost 300 million naira. Go to the cancer ward. All the doctors, they will collect your money complete before they treat you. You will see somebody with a pile of cancer. He no get 5,000 naira. Hospital no go treat him. Hospital go say, make you go collect that 5,000 naira. Come. If not, they no go treat him. Your matter was not a matter of life and buy. You were not about to buy. Now, somebody money lost. Now, investment will go off. And you were, the, you know, I don't want to talk. You know what? My own is, what am I doing inside? You came to beg me for a favor. Then you now, listen to the trickiness. You now quickly paid for my consultation. And now use that consultation to say you pay. Ask anybody who has ever come to my life. I've never collected less than 1.5 million for my life. Go and ask Asukwa them where they pay regularly. Why should I do your case for you for free? Why? Who are you? Do you know, on top of that COS, I don't do one free case for one woman. But the only reason why I did not go out, I did not call out the guy was because he belonged to a church and then it would look like I'm fighting your pastor. It was going to look petty. I brought the woman to my platform for free. I did not charge her one naira. There are many people that I send money to on a regular who I take care of too from this online community. So I don't understand why I'm all of a sudden a bad person because I don't understand why I'm all of a sudden a bad person because I decided to charge somebody for what I charge everybody else for. That is why, you see, this is why I go to my chat. Some people say that I've been trying to talk to you for two weeks. You're not answering. I tell everybody to type. It is people like this that spoil opportunities for other people. Tomorrow now, you will call me and I will never pick your call unless I know you one-on-one. -on -one. I will never pick your call. And when I don't pick your call, you will be angry with me. These are the reasons why. You give somebody the opportunity. You give somebody a proxy. Say, okay, you know what? Let me hear your case. And then you go around and you start cho 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 to everybody that is available. I need to explain something to people. I spent 26 years on the radio. When I left the radio, I left the radio to start my own media company. Radio station that I'm working on, anybody that I saw on the radio station, they paid to come there. Why would you pay to go to a radio station? But the same Daddy Freeze that you were paying the radio station to talk on the platform, you want to come and talk on Daddy Freeze platform for free. Are you a good person? This same problem you had, Ma, if you carried it to a radio station, would they, would they take it for you for free? Of course they can. The manager of the radio station can decide and say, okay, you know what? Take her on the air. Or the manager might decide on his gut instinct that, you know what? This one, I want to charge. So it is unfair for anybody to pick my charities for me. And in this case, I can see that people have, car have decided what my charity should be. I don't know this woman from anywhere. Why should she assume? Is that not entitled mentality? 
you paid me when you said you pay i thank god vdm showed my rate card when you said you paid 150k please what is 150k on my rate card and there's nothing there's nothing 150k on my even nothing even on my whatsapp channel to post is not 150k so she was she played a quick one say, ah, send me account i will pay then you pay me for consultation and then assume that because you paid me for consultation i'm supposed to carry you live don't worry ma you have set a precedent for everybody that is coming after you for the rest of this year no more pro bono read my lips no more pro bono because i've seen that when you do things for people, what it creates is expectation and entitlement. And people now believe that you owe them. And people now believe that uh, yeah, it, all your blogs that you go to, try to send any of your popular blogs a DM that you want to post a story. See how much they will charge you for it. Just try me. Try me. Try any of the blogs. Any of the popular blogs. Would they do it for free? So you want me. A platform I have built. For the last. My online platform is about. Seven years old. I use my data. I buy the best phones. This microphone that I use, this is the fifth one I've bought in the last two months. They keep going bad. I use electricity. This is the only work that I have. Make a con the one for free. I'm very, very, very sorry. I humbly apologize to anyone I have let down. Forgive me, but from today on, there is nothing free. If you send me a DM, I will charge you for DM. Starting from today, for me to respond to your DM, I will send you my account number and I will think of a fee that will be appropriate. If you want drink, you know how many people they send me say every day, like, please help me. Like, oh, don't look the person. Just send your account. I don't even talk about them. I don't even gather people on them. Now, let me break it down to you. Daddy Freeze is managed by two companies. One based in Israel and one based in Nigeria. At the end of the month, I must meet my quota. If I don't meet my quota, they are not going to pay me. Oh, you did not know? That's why your doctor cannot treat your cancer a family member for free. Because the doctor... We collect salary from the hospital. The hospital is going to run gen. The hospital is going to procure rent, whatever it is they're going to pay. And they're going to charge you their professional fee. I was with Chief Afe Babalola, who probably will be very disappointed with me that believes that I'm still charging in Naira. Because Chief Afe Babalola said, from the 80s, he had started charging in dollars. That he charged one firm $5 million for his professional fee. Please. Whatever I charge you, consider it my professional fee. If you don't like it, go elsewhere. 26 years on the radio. Media. Somebody said, eh, they've never collected, eh, VDM said, eh, I've never collected money back for people. No. There are a lot of people I've collected money back for. There are a lot of people who, because they heard their story on my life, quickly went to settle it. Even that girl, Amaka, the girl that VDM, when VDM was quarreling with Jenny's glue, which is where my problem started with VDM. And to be very honest, I was as neutral as possible in that Jenny's glue matter. There were three people involved. VDM, I didn't know VDM then. I knew Jenny's glue. Amaka reached out to me. Now, Amaka reached out to me, begging me to help her. Amaka, please, did I charge you any money for helping you? Amaka, please come out and talk if I charged you any money. Amaka, 
come and talk if i guess what we even paid amaka's legal fees because at a point amaka needed a lawyer we even paid for a lawyer to consult with amaka because she begged me and she was nice and i chose to help her from my spirit mary gold can somebody tag mary gold mary gold where is mary gold let me on my comment section maybe they go fit come make help me tag mary gold mary gold came on my live and said pastor funke one of their pastors in lagos collected her 15 million from her now me they beg mary gold please help me call mary gold just tag mary gold she was on my live now me they tell mary gold say mary gold anytime you are ready you want to go on my live i'm available Mary Gold, did I charge you 50 kobo? Mary Gold was able to collect her money back. The matter was that EFCC was helping Mary Gold. And by the time Mary Gold came to me and went to EFCC, EFCC advised her that she should not go public until they get their money back. Mary Gold was able to get her money back and she came on my life free of charge to tell her story. Please help me ask Mary Gold. Mary Gold, did I charge you one naira? How many people have I mentioned now? There are too many I cannot even count. But I'm the one who is going to choose. I'm going to choose. I can. There are free nation members that will come and pay me. Let me tell you. People's businesses work. Your friends' businesses work when you pay to patronize instead of looking for freebies. Please, can somebody tag Mary Gold? I want Mary Gold to come here. A Free Nation member can pay me to come and use my platform. At Daddy Freeze, I need you. Of course, you've been a member of my church. I will give you a discount. Some, if I know you can't afford it, I will give it to you for free. Let me tell you something. During COVID, every week, throughout when COVID lasted, every Monday, we were sending 5,000 Naira to our church members, self to make sure everybody got it. Throughout the entire lockdown, how many churches gave you 5,000 Naira every Monday morning. We make sure we did it Sunday overnight into Monday. So as you are waking up on Monday morning, the first thing you are seeing is your alert, at least to buy food that week. And you know, during COVID, dollar was between 450 and 500, thereabout. So 5,000 Naira was still a lot of money. It's like the equivalent of 20. What 5,000 Naira could buy then is like what 20K will buy you now. There are so many people who benefited from this and nobody will come and talk. So, because I decided to charge a stranger that I don't know from anywhere and it was because of her attitude. Watch the VDM video again and watch, read her message. Does that sound to you like somebody you will want to help? Answer me. Does the woman sound to you like somebody you will want to help? So if you see some people will make you offend God. Yoruba people say, Amuni Shalom. People that will make you offend God. And they pray, say, you know, go see those people this year. And the worst na customers. Let me tell you, eh, I am the I am the the best judge of character when it comes to customers. Me, once I talk to you for five minutes, I know you are going to be a problematic customer. I'm not going to take your money. I'm not going to do your work. This woman don't enter my hand already. After 30 minutes of consultation, she told me that she paid for my life. I could have told her that, no, you paid for consultation and I've consulted you. I was even gracious enough to say, okay, you know what? 
She wanted a life that would tension the people. I don't do that. I'm sorry. I will never come and tension anybody on behalf of anybody. If other people do it, all the best to them. I will not do it. I'm not angry with VDMO. Now, person carry my matter, go report. I am, I am, I just think I needed to clear my name and to inform you that free is over. How many of you went to churches during COVID and got 5,000 naira every week throughout the law? The day I stopped was the day the, lock, the government lifted the lockdown and said people can go back to work. That's the day we stopped in the free nation. That's the day it stopped in the free nation. Because then I now felt that, okay, everybody can go back to work. How come nobody's talking about that? Pookie Shorter is away. How come nobody is talking about that? Mary Gold, Choma, this is Mary Gold. Let me add her to my life. Mary Gold, no vex. So I want I just want to ask you one question for one minute. No vex. A pastor collected 15 million naira from Mary Gold. I just wish she can come on this live. Mary Gold. <laughs> Now, God, I take beg you. I want to ask you a few questions. Please answer yes, me in any way or form. Yes, Were sir. you duped by a pastor, yes or no? Yes, I was. Did you come to me with the matter at the early stage? Yes. Did I ever tell you, Mary Gold, send me 10,000 naira? No, you never did. What did I tell you? Please tell them. If you are willing to help, you told me that if you can beg, um, if you can beg um, Funke Felix on the behalf that they should look for the money and give to me. That was the first thing that you said. Um, you, didn't, you didn't ask for any money. You are willing to beg. I said no, that you should not go and beg. I know what, it's okay. What do you want me to do? I know at the first date, I said I've um, contact, uh, me and my lawyer is talking, so I really don't. I want to end, I want to fight them with lawyer and everything before I'll come to you, before I'll come to public. But you didn't collect any money from me. Uh, when I brought you to my live, did I collect one naira from you when you finally came to tell your story? No, 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 Ever. you did not. No, you did not. How much was the money that you were you lost? 14 million 14 million this is somebody that i have done this. but you see the way marigold talks to me is different from the way this other woman talked to me marigold is not entitled she came with her problem to me i sat down i even at a point when we said okay let's not go live is there a way we can even call the woman and beg and get the money back she'll be at the end of the day what you need is your money yes right yes sir now thank you that's all i just wanted to ask you that's all if, there, if there's anything you want to say please go ahead no sir sir please don't because of a lady and change that's what i want to beg you're a good man and you're a very good person not because of a lady being arrogant and being rude and change some, some people really want to talk to you but they, they will not have the money to pay you and you have a good heart First, no go because of, okay, I stopped going to church because of what that man told me. You are the one that encouraged me that I should be coming to your church and always come on life, which I've been doing. And not because of that man, say, I, all pastors are the same. There are still some good pastor. So no matter what the lady did to you, I just want to apologize that you should please, not because of her, block way for some good people. Mm. Because people have a story, but they don't have money to pay. And you're a good person, so just become, just keep being good. Not because of one person, punish other people. Mm. I beg you. Mm. Thank you very much, uh, my darling sister Mary Gold. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Um, I appreciate the fact that at least some people who know the inside and the outside story would come. 
Somebody said I should talk about Davido's own. That a uh, very dark black man said I said something about Davido. Please, I don't remember saying anything about Davido. And I'm more worried about a woman that let's even imagine I said something about Davido, which I know I didn't, or I don't think I did. And she's going to carry the matter to go and give very dark black man. That woman is dangerous, in my humble opinion. That is a dangerous person. Because whether you like it or not, very dark black man has been trolling me for a long time. I just chose not to respond. So, uh, thank you very much. I you want to collect money, so I collect money because your platform grows somebody's page. If you want to collect money, collect money, I beg. Because some people don't know that it's not just the life. It will grow your followers. It will make you, even I get your um, 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 life to come and talk about my problem and everything. But it grew my page, grew my business made me even more popular so and nothing is free if you say i will go insta blog say i want to talk my story insta blog will still collect 150k so some people are just being the woman is just i don't want to use Sorry, words. savage trap queen hold on savage trap queen let me bring savage trap queen just one second savage trap queen i beg you come to my life ah uh -uh. that's what i want to bring her savage trap queen come to my life her video, Savage Trap Queen was a former um, star of all these movies that uh, you find on P-O-R-N Hub. Mm -hmm. When she came to my house, I interviewed her for free. I shared her story for free. We oh, good evening. Lunch. Good evening, everybody. Um, Savage Trap Queen, how are you doing, my darling? My uncle, I'm fine. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I want they said that I charge everybody that comes to my live. <laughs> no, see, I have no sympathy. <laughs> Please, Savage Trap Queen. When you came to my because do you know what I'm bringing? I'm not bringing the men, no. I'm bringing the women, like the woman we complain. Savage Trap Queen. <laughs> Tell Daddy them. Free. When I reached out to Daddy Face, because I personally reached out to him, and I told him I wanted to come on this platform to really um, give my own version of my story, because nobody can tell my story like I can tell my story. And up till tomorrow, because of what Daddy Freeze did for me, my dad used to listen to him, going back to the firm. So when I told him that I'm going to Daddy Free's house, he didn't invite me to an office space or a studio, to his own house. If someone does not have a clean heart, he would not invite a stranger first to his house. And God bless his wife, Auntie Bene. She was welcoming. They made me feel relaxed. In fact, Daddy Freeze made me feel so relaxed. Five Naira, you know, for left for my hand. Okay, let's go back to COVID. Wait, let's go back to COVID. During COVID, I'm not ashamed to accept the fact. During COVID, I was super broke. I didn't tell him about it because I'm not someone that likes to put my body on people or let people know when I'm weak or down. That the freeze, all of a sudden, he said, the freeze nation, they are doing something. So send your account details. During COVID, I was receiving... The first week, the first week was five five thousand. Along the line, ten thousand. Along the line, fifteen thousand. Along the line, up to twenty thousand during COVID. These are things that even the so-called pastor. How many activists even do that thing at that point in time? He did all this, and whenever I'm on his life, I would greet him. He would invite me up. I've never heard of charges, and even if he decides to charge, it's nobody's business. So it's his page. If it's you, say go for your page. I've done your page to a charity home. Yes. But then accusing him of this, eh, eh, that one, and no support at all. And you may not even know, maybe this same lady that is saying all this just wants to gain sympathy. And I blame the Omo Ali that ran with the um, false narrative. And that's why they, they locked his eyes at the time. 
verify you will not verify just because you have some sort of grudge against somebody somebody i can just come out one day and tell one stupid story it doesn't make much sense to me that if it's please oh i'm begging you because you really encourage me if not for you that will be maybe i forgot back to the do party <laughs> you really encourage me. encourage me not with just words of the mouth you know when you advise person you use money support them the advice will hold ground so please don't change just continue being you please. I God did that. bless your family, please. Don't, don't change. change. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. Don't change. I beg you. Don't change. I beg. I beg. Just I beg. ignore. Ignore the I nonsense. Beg. That the place will still check up on you. Today, tomorrow, my sister, how are you? How have you been? It's been a long while. Then they pay for that one too. I don't know him from Adam. I'm more related to him. I'm from Delta State. He's, he's an outcast. Where I think one from? Maybe my papa brother. Even my papa brother. How many things they do for me? Much more a total stranger. Please, you people stop believing nonsense. So you know, makes sense. I swear, especially for somebody that is doing things that he does that is not compelled to, but out of his own free will. It doesn't make much sense to me. That if is, let me go and sleep, Jerry. Just God bless you, my Daddy sister. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very Daddy much. Don't, I beg. don't change because of somebody. Don't no, change. I no. beg. You see, my problem is my my I issue beg. is people will let me tell you yeah from the first chat i had with that woman i regretted entering a conversation with her. and to be honest between then and now there are people that i don't have conversations with i i as i'm talking to you now if i open my unread messages for you make i open my unread messages for you fear go catch you how many messages i have of people here daddy freeze Please help me, Daddy Freeze. Eh, do this one. Eh, Daddy Freeze, do that one. And you see, the woman going to say something about the video, that I said something about the video, is like she just wants to create unnecessary enmity. She wants to bring down your name. Your name is a big name. She wants to tarnish your name. In, You see, eh? As in, I'm tired. I will not lie. Daddy, I'm not tired. think I'm not think I'm not think I'm. You're a big name. You're a big so, brand. So, 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 so here's the thing I'm going to say to those people that I'm open to. I'll continue being open to them. I'll continue. I'll continue being the way I am, but. I'm not, I, I need you to understand. Okay, let me rephrase it better. I'm going to choose my charities. I can decide to help Mary Gold and not decide to help Ada Blessing. That would be my choice. Sometimes you go to, you are walking down the street and you see a woman crying with a baby. And you see a man limping with crutches. And your heart tells you to give the woman with the baby. Or your heart tells that this woman with the baby is a scam. No, let me give the man with the crutches. It is your prerogative. It is up to you. I am always going to be selective. I cannot help everybody. Just understand that. If I had all... Bill Gates cannot help everybody. How much me I can't get? Where I go think, say, I fit, help everybody. Someone said you collected a 150k or not. I collected it. She paid for my consultation on a discount. My consultation is 250,000 Naira. Let me tell you today, for you to talk to me on the phone, if you want to talk to me, it's 250,000 Naira for 30 minutes. Because I believe there's nothing you want to say that I cannot say in 30 minutes. That's how much I charge. That's my consultation. It does not mean I will go on with the matter or not. Why did I start consultation? Let me explain to you. Let me tell you the story of why I started consultation. I used to wake up in the morning around 10, 11, get on my phone, and I'll be on my phone till about 6 p.m. Different companies. Daddy Freeze want to come on your live. Yes, want to talk. So they will talk, they will sound me out, get my ideas, and they will never come back. They will need my advice. They will say, yes, you know, we are coming back next month. We are going to book you. They will never come back. 
one day I just thought about it. I was in shop right that day. I was reversing my car. I was dropping off my wife to get some groceries. And I just thought about it. I'm like, I was on the phone. I almost jumped as a motor where they reverse. They talk to, they do consultation for free. That's when I now said, you know what? I'm going to start charging for my consultation. Even to choose which watch you want. Ask people, they come, Daddy Freeze, I want to buy a watch. I will charge you for it. Now, of everybody who I charge for watches, ah, Daddy Freeze, advise me on which watch to buy. Mrs. Linda is here. I never collected one Naira from Mrs. Linda. She will go to TikTok and buy my money gone. But I never collected one Naira from her. I never said, ah, Miss Linda, pay me for consultation. That's how we became friends. Now, there are people who need marriage counseling. Ah, Daddy Freeze, I'm going through a problem with my husband. Give me advice. I look at the case. I say, okay, this one I want to do pro bono. Now, if I'm doing pro bono for you, we will not pick the time I will call you. I will look for a slot two, three weeks from now when I will have time to deal with your issue. When it comes to the time I've scheduled for you, let me go begin to look for you. Say, yes, yes, how far? Now, when it is a case I am interested in, like Mary Gold's case, I will work with you. I will bend my time. But I think it is unfair. For so, Do you know how many people talk to me in a day? I'm talking about 100 people. So I should talk to 100 people free. Not possible. Then tomorrow again, I talk to another 100 people free. I don't do that. If me and you are having a conversation that is not business, then you must be my friend or an acquaintance or somebody who supports my channel. There are people who have never given me 50 cobble before, but they, every time I'm live, they are there with me. Yo, Daddy Freeze, what's up? They come, they talk. They become my friends. If they have pressing personal issues, I will call them. There are people who we've paid off their loans right here there was a woman that called me one day we're live that day ah daddy freeze i went to borrow money i cannot pay we paid off the loan live i raised the money here that day and we paid off her loan who remembers sorry i'm rapturing some people Someone said, if you don't put a price on something, they will not value it. God bless you. God bless yes. you. And now, let me also tell this an opportunity. I don't call people out. I get a lot of messages that if please come and help you. I can decide to once or twice a year, but I don't call people out. Please, I don't call people out. The spotty bed woman, God bless you. Thank you for remembering. I don't now Oju baby do you know that when anybody from my life is around my vicinity I always host them I will always all I did it for Vidoma Vidoma called me one day in, I was in Abuja Sugar Destiny was there I said yeah we're gonna gather everybody we'll go and have fun same thing in Lagos if I, if you are on my live regularly, I will call you and host you on my bill. That's my way of giving back to you because I don't pay you to come on my live. But that once in a while, when you are around me or you are in town, I will host you. We had our Free Nation Convention in the UK. It was attended by over... 50 to 6. We got a smaller room of 45. Then we realized that this room was too small. So we now got a room of 60. Out of it, we took about 25 people for lunch after. I want to explain this to you because you don't know where you are going to hear it next time. So... I am not the kind of person that doesn't reach out. I am not the kind of person that doesn't take care of the people that are around him.
So, Nurse Reggie Baby, come to Lagos. Let me go host you. I know you very well. You've always supported me from day one. Don't worry. So, this is my own explanation. Why am I explaining? Because I don't want it to look like I collected money from a woman. Because the narrative out there now is I collected money from a woman after they had suffered 300 million problem that the freeze now came and collected his own 150,000 naira from people that have already suffered a lot. That was not what happened. The woman called me and said, I need to talk to you. I, I was busy. She said, I'm willing to pay. You know those kind of people with the genius? <laughs> <laughs> so I told her I charged 250 or She said she has 150 for consultation. And you can see, that. I said, I talk to people for 250K. I'm sorry. I'm not expensive. Some people just can't afford you. Now, when you can't afford me, have a good attitude. Attitude goes a long way. Attitude goes a long way. And for all my, my lovers and friends, for all of you who come out every day, Henry the Great, Mary Gold, Coco Boy, Ada Blessing, um, Shukbo Vaughn, Mama Tuzi, Bongo Lee, all of you who find, take your time out to come and support me, to come and hear me talk, I appreciate you. If I was collecting money from everybody, the money we have for collect from Bongo Lee alone would not reach like 20 million. <laughs> you know the time Bongoli, Bongoli just sent me that if I want to come this night and address something, I will bring him for free. Bongoli, I don't ever collect one naira from you before. I don't ever collect one naira from you before. So please, I want you to understand where I'm coming from. I have decided to create a career out of nothing because I'm not a lazy youth. I was one of the first who started podcasts in Nigeria. Nobody started podcasts before me. Omo, people are popping my stars on Facebook. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Who... I was the first to start a podcast. And I saw that I had an audience. And you know what happens when you have an audience? You can create a business out of it. Yes. I created a business out of it. Don't blame me. I, after working for 26 years on the radio, what I'm doing here, I was doing it for another man <laughs> whose business will be inherited by his children. Yes. Hmm. I decided to go set up my own office. <laughs> the same thing where they do for radio. I begin doing for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram and Facebook. As I'm talking to you, there are 2,000 people watching me on Facebook, 2,000 on Instagram, 600 on YouTube, and 650 on TikTok. People want to hear me talk. And all I've done from the day I was young was talk. The Bible says Paul was a fisherman. Paul was a tent maker. Peter was a fisherman. Christ was a carpenter. I don't know how to knock wood. I don't know how to catch fish. And I don't know how to make tents. But the Bible says, <laughs> he who does not walk will not eat. Yes. This is my walk. <laughs> Encourage me. Support. Because let me tell you something. It happens in every field. You enjoy that. Do you know the kind of message I get? Daddy Freeze, I listen to your message while I'm at work. There are some, what I do is, I bring the Nigerian conversation to people abroad. And I bring the abroad conversation to people in Nigeria. There are people who do not have any connection with Nigeria. But they tune in to listen to Daddy Freeze. And they hear different opinions about marriage, about religion, about making money about how life in the uk life in dubai like not be dubai conversation we enter yesterday when uh, yes, this girl came 
and yes. complain about our marshal law we borrow we collect twenty six twenty seven thousand dollars from him. Yes. VBM, yes. please help us call out our marshal law. Hey, and and let me tell you something. And let me tell you something. I don't get any issues with VDM. I don't know why he decides to always pick on me. <laughs> but me, I go tell you something for free. As long as you enjoy Daddy Freeze, Daddy Freeze will be available for you. Daddy Freeze will be available for you. <laughs> like... <laughs> now, now, I have five more minutes and I'm going to use it. Now, I'm rapturing people, so be careful what you are typing in the comment section. Just say you disappear. Rapture, bye. So, um, I'm not here to quarrel. I'm only here to clear my name. I'm here to clear my name. And my name is so that we'll be clear so that there will not be quarrel next time daddy freeze did you charge the woman yes i charged her for consultation the live was free my life is 1.5 million now take a jotter and write it down take a jotter and write it down if i now choose to bring you on my platform out of the love i have for you please appreciate it it is my time that I could have used for something else. Now, there are so many people who sent me stars on Facebook. Let me just be grateful to them. Please don't be angry. Oh. Regina, Nurse Reggie Baby, sent me a thousand stars. I can't see. Okay. Hey. Ah, Nurse Reggie Baby, sent me 3,500 stars. Thank you so much. Buchi. Nwakolo. Buchi Nwakolo also sent me 2,500 stars. Thank you so much to the two of you. It shows that you appreciate me. All of you who buy my money guns, who support me, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Someone said, but the woman needs help. My question is, if you walk into the hospital, cancer won't buy you. Would the hospital treat you for free? No. Why? Hospital is supposed to treat people now. Why would they not treat you for free? They don't pay nothing. Let me tell you. You will go with well. you'll be you go inside hospital, the blood will they drop for your body like they go tell you say no, 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 no. <laughs> you get case for police, lawyer go treat you for free. The lawyer can decide, the doctor can, anybody can decide to do, but you see, you are not the one that's going to say, Hey, I'm not feeling well, you must treat me for free. Mr. Ibu, when he was in the hospital, how much were they collecting from him? They say it was like five million every three days. <laughs> Why did they not treat him for free? Because it's Mr. Ibu. As a celebrity. So you want to go to the best hospital and pay. You want to go to the best nightclub and pay. You want to drink the best drink and pay. But you want to come to Daddy Freeze for free. You are not a nice person. <laughs> You want to drive the best car. You don't forget, say, if I want to buy a moto, they know they give me discount too. They, they know they give me data. discount too. They, they, give me, they give me discount for data. For they know they give me discount for data. For they know they give me discount for phone. For microphone, Nico. If your microphone is boy. Mm -hmm. Emergency ambulance, 911 for America. They say now $1,000. One, $1, Taste boss, don't pay them before. You go to buy like this, they go still charge you for them. Somebody say only. You are the one that is only. Don't day. mind them. You want free. You that want be everything only. free. Me, I charge you. Did I charge her? Yes. And I will continue to charge. You don't, you don't go refund one naira. You know they refund what? If After you, have collect money, you, you paid refund. me for consultancy. I have consulted for you. Then I will refund for you. <laughs> hey, <Kushe. laughs> if refund fire. 
refund. Even if Nurse Reggie Baby so said it's 15k. Emergency ambulance, if you don't have insurance, it's 15k. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So someone said, but you should send me stars for free. If you don't send, you will still watch. If you don't send me stars, you will still watch. Someone said, out of 300 million, I go charge 10%. God bless you. Make we talk about uh, uh, Charlie baby yesterday. Charlie, where are you? Help me call Charlie. Charlie say, they hear me. Charlie say, she they owe, or mashola they owe him $27,000. I say, Charlie, if I collect the money, how much you go get? Say she go give me fifty percent. Yes. Show you the here. A lawyer that is going to fight that case for you and decide not to do pro bono will charge you ten percent of the worth of the money. Yes. Will charge you ten percent of the worth of the money. Say, okay, I'm going to help you get this money back, but I'm going to take ten percent of it, and you not see the lawyer not try. Try. So, I appreciate you all. Thank you all so very much. I love you all. We continue right, our man. our live, uh, and no matter what happens, always keep it at the back of your mind. If you support me, I will support you. Don't come and choose my charities for me. Somebody said another person is coming the youth. That's how you now say uh, that the fees collect. Ah, please, I don't call people out. Going forward, I don't call people out. If somebody ran away with your money, if somebody ran away with your husband, if somebody ran away with your car, sort it out. I don't call people out. Highest, and I'm not a judge. I hear from both sides. If you remember yesterday, I told Shali. Um, I said, um, bring Omoshola, um, let us hear from her own side of the story. Yeah. And yeah. I'm willing to hear both sides of the story. Even in matters, I can decide to charge and I can decide not to charge. Is my discretion. And I believe I'm entitled to my discretion. But I have a rate card. You can decide to use it. It is not a crime. Sabio said there is even a risk calling people out. God will bless you. God will bless you. So if you are having money of issues with anybody, I will recommend the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC. <laughs> This is a testimony that EFCC is working. Mary Gold that you are seeing here went to EFCC and EFCC helped her get her, get, helped her, get her 14 million naira back from the pastor that collected the money from her. According to her story, this her here. EFCC testimony. So, thank you all so much. Bye-bye, sir. God bless you. And... Can see. Screenshot it. So bye guys. Imagine someone say where she see 14 million. That's how you are wicked. A woman has come to tell you her problem. You're asking her where she saw the money from. Tomorrow is church, 12 30 p.m. Please join us. Twelve thirty. Someone said, "No more money guns." Ah, I don't forget. Pop my money gun as you are going. Pop my money gun. Ah, I forget to advertise. Yeah, I was too busy gisting with you people. Pop my money gun.
Bye, guys.